Hey guys, and welcome back to Pixel Cherry Ninja's channel. Great news now. I don't know if this has been around for a while. I only came across this uh, literally today. Uh, I kind of hit the developer of this with a comment over Reddit, and wow, like this is available. So this is a tutorial, um, which uh, I think is the easiest way to uh, get the Hotego Patreon calls working on your analog pocket. So I'm going to start this tutorial. I'm going to try and do it real time without any editing or anything so you can see the entire process. Now, I'm going to do this in mind that let's say, for example, you just got your analog pocket. It doesn't matter if you already have it, then you can kind of skip the beginning steps, which are very relatively simple anyway. Let's say you just got your analog pocket. You've got a micro SD card. Now, I've tried this already, but then I formatted the memory card. So what you want to do is you want to get your memory card. Uh, you know, once you've already got your analog pocket, you've updated it to the latest firmware and everything. Uh, there's other tutorials on my channel for that. Uh, but once you've updated it to the latest firmware, uh, put in your memory card that you're going to use with the analog pocket and just switch your analog pocket on. So it prepares the memory card. Um, to the analog pocket or to what the analog pocket likes so once we've done that um, now you can you can do this via a, a cable uh, plugged into your analog pocket i've done it um, i've done it by taking out the micro sd card and plugging it into my pc because the transfer rate is a lot faster than what we get through the usb -C, c cable straight onto the analog pocket and for the for this video we're going to be showing how to get uh, the latest Hotego Patreon, which is a CPS one core, which has lots and lots of assets. Uh, Pocket Sync will actually grab 160 of the 190 assets there. So you're going to get all the main games, you know, some of the hacks. I haven't tested all of them out. Uh, I've just been kind of running it through a little bit of a test to see if they initially worked and, and it works absolutely fantastic. So let's let's kind of get into this. So I'm just going to minimize this. OK. So over here, if you're a Hotego Patreon, uh, on his latest post where you can get this file, uh, CPS1 under, uh, uh, space underscore pocket, and this is uh, the root of the memory card that I've taken out from the analog pocket. So remember the analog pocket, uh, I put in a blank SD card. This is an eight gig one that I use. In my actual analog pocket, I've got half a terabyte in there just to kind of future proof it, but whichever one you're using. So I've put it in the analog pocket, Analog Pocket uh, prepares the memory card and these are the initial files you get once you first insert it into your Analog Pocket. Um, if uh, if you, um, yeah, yeah, okay, anyway, let, let, let's move on. I was kind of going to go off point there. So what we want to do, let's just click into that. So that's, so the, the JTCP, um, the JTCPS1 file is going to come zipped. Uh, unzip it. I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys know how to unzip it. If not, it's, it's very simple. Windows will usually kind of do that for you without using a third party program. So let's just go and highlight all of these and let's just copy it into here. Let's just drag it into here. So I'm copying it into it. You can uh, also right click and copy if you like, if that's what works for you. You can right click, copy and then paste it in here. But I've just dragged it because it's going from one drive to another. So it's not going to move it. It's going to copy it. So just just kind of let that uh, let that copy over. OK, so uh, once that has copied over, let's go back to uh, let's go back to uh, Pocket Sync. So now what we want to do is we have got our memory card in. We have got, so I'm only putting the Hotego CPS one cause at the moment. But this principle applies for all the Hotego Patreon cause. The public cause, as far as I know, it should just fetch them for you. Uh, but if it, if it doesn't, anything Hotego's put in the Patreon, uh, put the cause on there like I just did now. So once I, once I, once I go connect to Pocket, it's going to ask me what drive. As I've used it before, it's gone straight to the E drive, which is the micro SD that I've got plugged in that belongs to the analog pocket. So let's just hit select folder. Uh, okay, so Pocket Sync 2.0, we're here. Then uh, what we want to do, if I haven't done it already, if you go over to settings, uh, there's just a disclaimer here. So make sure you legally own the ROMs. Uh, please check with your local laws around downloading uh, of potentially copyright, copyrighted arcade ROMs and BIOS files. If you are comfortable with this, copy the following into, uh, into the input and hit save. So what we want to do is let's just copy this over. So remember, you need to legally own these ROMs. Uh, and if you're comfortable with it, then go in there and hit save. OK, now that we have done that, let's go and look at calls. OK, so these are all the calls available. Uh, like I said, it's a brand new memory card. Uh, obviously, on my other one, you're going to see all these uh, instead of available as installed. But this is a brand new memory card. But we've put uh, we've got the Hotego cores uh, installed on there, but what we don't have is the assets for them. So what we do is let's click on that. And if we go required files, it's going to show you all the files here. Um, 
And so what you can do now, this is going to take some time. I think if I'm not mistaken, it's, it's quite a large download when you're downloading all uh, the CPS1 assets, which, which you can see here from archive.org. Now, it can take some time. You know, we're talking like it could take 30 minutes plus to do it. So maybe do it when you've got a bit of time, leave it, uh, leave it alone and come back to it. So let's go, let's go to download all. Uh, obviously, if you've got some of them, there was the download missing uh, folder here. Okay, so this is what you're gonna get. Uh, it's gonna take a bit of time. Uh, I'm gonna kind of skip ahead and go to here's one that I made earlier and we're going to look at uh, some of the CPS one uh, CPS one uh, ROMs working on the analog pocket okay so once uh, once that is run and you've got everything you have got the Hotego games ready to play so CPS one is going to work let's like head over to our analog pocket now and uh, try out some of the games Okay, guys, once you have done all of that, uh, we're ready to play. Head over to Open FPGA, Arcade Compatible, JT CPS1, hit run, and there you go. You've got all the games there uh, for yourself to try. Cool, okay, let's, uh, let's check another one. Cool, okay, so let's just kind of leave in to see you guys get an idea of the loading times and everything there. Here we go. We're gonna have a look at a bit of Captain Commando. Uh stick around. I just want to show you something that I think is is quite useful. So um if you if you saw when it downloaded everything, it there was like 199 total and it downloaded like 159 of them or something. So there will be some clones or some hacks that will be missing. Um, but what you can do is you can actually have a look at the ROMs list. So if we go into core settings, now if we go down to load ROM, it'll just give you a list of all the ROMs. They're not as nicely named, but they are the ROM, the raw ROM files that uh, that are there for you to load. So you know you can go if you go via the ROMs, all of those will work. If you go via the the kind of nicer looking one, which I think is made, it's it's the JSON files. Um, you're going to find a few in there that aren't going to work. I mean, it's up to you how you do it. You might find, okay, cool, uh, you, you know, the games that you want to play work. But if you do come across one where you get an error or anything, it's because, you know, they're not there. But, uh, you know, I think this is really, really good. You've got you've got all the main main games. You've got all the main CPS1 games. Uh, what you uh, what you might be missing, like I said, look look how many, like, different Street Fighters there are. There's, like, so many different versions on here. Uh, I haven't tried Rainbow yet. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to trying Rainbow. Uh, I just kind of wanted to get this video out because I thought... Maybe Many of you might be uh, using your analog pocket over this holiday season. And I know previously the way I was doing ROMs, I had to do them individually and it took me a little bit of time. There might have been a better way of doing it. Uh, I just didn't know myself how to do it. Uh, but guys, that kind of wraps it up for this video. I hope uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it's been useful for you. Uh, if it has been, then a subscription to the channel and a like is super appreciated. Uh, I'm always putting out like analog pocket uh, and Mr. Content as well as like retro stuff that I think is cool. And you might get some uh, random bits here and there. But um, guys, as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Pixel Cherry Ninja out.